The Anthony Sowell murder case ended today with a serial killer being sentenced to death for his crimes. But for the families of his 11 victims, it may never be over. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is just back from a gathering of victims' relatives tonight in East Cleveland. And Deb, they're hoping their loss will spur some changes. Oh, that's certainly right. You remember when this case first broke and some of the families said nothing was done when they tried to report their loved ones missing. Well, since then, Cleveland police have a missing persons unit. But community activists and the families who gathered with them tonight say more is needed. They say they are a family now, sadly, because each has lost a loved one at the hands of serial killer Anthony Sowell. And I will not rest until Anthony Sowell is in the dirt. That's when we'll have our closure and not a moment sooner. And tonight, just hours after Sowell was sentenced to die for his crimes, this family came together once again to rally for change. No justice! No, no peace! No justice! No, no peace! A centralized missing persons unit for Cuyahoga County, not just Cleveland, and a law requiring police officers to take reports from rape victims and the families of missing persons without personal judgments. If we don't do something following this horrible tragedy that happened to so many families, the, the beautiful women that were lost, if we don't do it now, it's going to happen again. It was the second time that they came together today. Earlier in the courtroom, many spoke of the pain that Sowell brought into their lives as he sat with closed eyes. Some of them say they forgive. I can't because he took my heart. He took my life. And I might as well die, too, because that was part of me. When we sleep in that courtroom, they nod to us to make sure we woke. He should have been woke up in that courtroom or been put out, too. It's a healing time. Speaking on behalf of Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, John Harrison called it healing time, a time to find resources to improve the quality of life for these families. Now, not only did Sowell take the lives of the 11 women, but some families say they lost other relatives as well to things like heart attacks, which they link directly to the anguish over those imperial murders. Mm. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5. Thank you, Deb. So what is next for Anthony Sowell's infamous Imperial Avenue home? The city of Cleveland told us in an email that prosecutors don't need the house for any future proceedings. The home sits in probate court right now because of a pending foreclosure case. Once that phase ends, the city will make a final decision on what to do with the home.